In this video, we're going to start on the head. To see if I can make this level and at the moment the boat is level so in this instance I can use the level to get this right and that's going to take a little bit of adjustment let's all behave ourselves we're going to need the persuader and at least I cut it to the right length. Oh, so close. Oh, perfect. No! Okay, I'm gonna have to shave a bit off. And of course the thing is, I'm gonna have to reset the whole thing. Oh, it doesn't matter. Perfect. So let's have a look at this close up. Well to the bottom and well to the top. I'm doing a visual against the door to see if it lines up visually. So naturally these don't fit anymore, so I'm going to have to cut bits out to make that work. Um, but I've discovered a new problem. Um, I forgot that I just put this in and I stepped and whacked my head against it. And I've got a bump just there. Or the fact that my teeth went at the same time. What's my hair doing? I'm inside Georgia and um, well I have a problem so for some reason I cannot explain the water system in Georgia failed and dumped all the water in the water tank into the boat this was leaking, this was leaking, this was leaking, and the pump housing. I, I think what happened is that it froze. Don't know how it happened, because there's the stove, there's the pump. It dumped all the water into the boat over a period of time, so I think it took about a several days for it to pour all the water in. The water's still down there, which is why I have this fellow. I'm going with Jabsco. Pump is in. 
and it works, but there's no water in the tank, so I have to go and get water. But before we do that, let's see if we can get rid of water. <laughs> Water. Check out the Crowbots channel. They're very funny. Oh, the Titan is coming out to play. And we have to get it set up. So the first thing we have to take out a com yeah, a completely empty bag because the barrel is doing all the collecting. Take the filter off. Don't know how to take the filter. That has to be detected. There we go. Put the sock on. This could take a while because my entire tank, which takes hours to fill up, um, is in the bilge. So it looks like I'll be doing this for quite a while. vacuum cleaner is more powerful than the rate at which the water is draining from the rest of the boat so it sort of mops up everything and then it goes dry and then the water catches up but to move things along the tank is empty at the front of the boat which means that there's about a ton of water missing so if I go and fill up water then the front of the boat will be heavier and the water will move hopefully faster to the front of the boat and be deeper and then I'll be able to stick the hose in again just under one bar. Uh, cut in pressure for the pump is 15 psi so just under one bar is about 13 psi which is just below the cut in and that is uh, to keep the pressure constant so that looks good. Let's try. There we go. Water going in. Let's try the water. Oh there it is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Why does it play you so rude? Nice and clean water. Filthy hands. It's sunny outside and it's above freezing. Um, in this little section, um, I'm gonna make something out of some scrap steel. This is going to be my work area. And these were on the sides of the boat. And I'm going to make uh, what looks like a steel box. Let's see if you can guess what it's for. It's shrunk a little bit, so it's bowed in a little bit. Let's go and have lunch. Okay, I'm back. 
Now two holes. Two holes. deliberately made the hole smaller so that I can shape it with the angle grinder and widen it. It's easier to remove the steel than to put it back in. So at the moment, that's supposed to go through there, but it won't. Um, but it's supposed to come through the other side, so I need to shave down. So I'll change this over to a grinder and then I'll start grinding this into the right shape. This is the piece of steel that I cut out um, and it's, well obviously, it's the piece of steel I cut out so it's exactly the right dimensions for my little doors. So there's only one problem, I angle grind through that and there's a hole, but I'm just going to weld that back together and smooth that out with the angle grinder. By the way, it's a lovely day, absolutely freezing, but the um, sun is shining so it's warming up ever so slightly. Come on, let's get back to it. taking off this uh, so now that I have the doors set up the next thing to do and I'm going to do this after lunch is decide exactly what what 
what I want here. Possibly a, a nice, a nice little curved section. But what I'll do is I'll cut both the the doors and the lip, and then everything will be flush, and, and then it'll look much nicer. Um, because it is hot, I can actually afford to paint. Right, I've cleaned everything. And now I am going to paint. 